Hi there, and thanks for tuning in. Um, today I'm just going to go over another question from the forum. Um, this one was asking how to cut a groove into cylindrical stock. So I've just modeled a simple, created a simple model. It's actually a complete guess and at the dimensions that the uh, the poster used on the forum. Um, now the key thing here is um, you we have to clear out the center of the hole somehow. Um, depending on the size, you could just drill it out. But I've just used the adaptive clearing here to rough it out, and then a bore to, to do the finish. Um, and the circular, the good old 2D circular command, is um, is perfect for this. So if I edit this and have a look at the tool definition, you'll see that I've just created a slot mill. Um, again, I've just uh, taken a stab at, um, at the dimensions, but I've made sure that it suits the hole that I've... Um, that I've created so I've got a 50 mil diameter slot mill and a 12 mil flute length and enough shaft to get down into the hole and have plenty of clearance um, so with that I've then selected the cylindrical face of the slot All right. now that sets the top and the bottom but I've then contained um, the height so from the bottom of the hole then from the top of the hole I've I've pushed the top plane down by the same height as the cutters to, to make sure that the um, slot mill doesn't come up above this edge here and start cutting into material it shouldn't. Um, and then I've set multiple depths in here. It doesn't, depending on um, how deep this, how tall the slot is, um, you may need to add more more passes. But I've actually got two two passes in here. I think there's two passes. No, there's only one. Um, so this this is irrelevant. But the key thing is is to make sure that the tool goes down and comes back up in the center. So to do that, um, on the leads and transitions section of the um, linking tab, just turn on lead to center. Now we can change these values as well and have the the linear lead length increase. And um, this shouldn't actually make any difference now because it's just coming straight to the center. But the 5 mil radius changing that will make a difference. And as you can see, the, the toolpath is updating straight away because it's a simple 2D toolpath. There's not a lot of calculation going on. So, um, And I've not bothered with a vertical radius because at this point there's really not a lot of po There's no point in it, right? So, yeah. Um, so that's pretty simple, really. So if I complete that and let's simulate this and have a look. And what the movement looks like. It's dropping down into the middle of the hole, plenty of clearance in and around. And that's it, out she comes. So I hope that's helpful for anyone um, trying to create slots inside um, bores uh, or you know inside other shapes. Um, yeah, thanks for listening and uh, see you again next time. Cheers, bye.